Alright, so this is my strategy to grind the wins in Blitz mode. This is the online version that you play against bots. I picked the, sec the second map, the Temple of Entropy. It's probably might be a different name if, for you if you're not playing English. I pick a very strong character and a fairly fast character. That's all the competition you need. And I pick up the hammer with both of them. Uh, as soon as the match starts, you're gonna skip the, the planning phase to save the 15 seconds or whatever you can. And the reason we picked this map is because it's very flat, there's nothing to do on it, and there's no moving parts, like you don't have to think about it, it's just two goals and nothing in between. And you're gonna switch to the fast character as soon as you can, and you're gonna kick whatever comes close to the ball so you can get the ball for yourself. And usually that would have killed me in normal circumstances, but that guy sell quickly hit his partner instead. So you're just gonna walk around until both of them leave the go, so you don't have to think about it, and then you just throw inside. After that, you just repeat, and you pick up the ball again, and just keep running in circles around the map. Uh, since you can walk to this area of the goal, and they can't, uh, you can just use this to get more distance between you and them. Uh, if you have a really fast character chasing you, this might be necessary to do, otherwise you can just, uh, just outrun them. Like, those guys are not as fast as this girl is. So you can just outrun them by just walking around the map. If that happens, they have a superpower that, that just gives you instantly. You can... Uh, you just use your strong character to be killed and it's not a big deal. You can use the weapon too if you need. But I usually just save the weapon for uh, dealing with the hypers when they activate the hyper and I just don't have anything to do with. There's another way to deal with the hypers. I'm going to show that in just a second. Uh, which is just throwing the ball at them. On the second round, I'm gonna use the ball strategy instead of... Lucky for me. Uh, I'm gonna use the ball strategy instead of doing the running away strategy. This strategy is really good if you have something like a shield, uh, the, the air strike attack, the sword attack. They're really good to just keep circling around the map. If you have someone with a sniper, which the guy is using, and the, the teleporting, this strategy might just fall apart really easily because you're just walking near them all of the time. So that was the first round. I'm going to show you the second uh, strategy now, which is basically just stay behind a goal and just keep uh, charging shot when they're lining up and killing them with that. The reason I'm keeping that guy, yeah, so that guy is hyper mode. And you usually don't want to 1v1 him because he's just going to fuck you up like that. But what you can do is Oh, he almost scored against himself. Yeah, so I got unlucky there because I had both of them coming at me at the same time. Usually that's not how it goes. Usually you're just gonna have one of them on you and the other guy, yeah, like that. So you just charge the ball and throw against them and then like you just stay behind the goal for basically the entire match. You can either go do the goal in the beginning, like score your point on the beginning or at the end. It's really up to you. I'm gonna wait to see if something goes bad on this cycle, and if something goes wrong, and I'm just gonna go over there and make the score the goal. But other than that, it's very simple. Just stay behind here. As soon as they come, you charge the shot, throw against them, easy. If your character, the other character, pick up the thing, you just pick up from them. I, ooh, I thought I killed my partner. So I got out of the cycle because it just went wrong. Yeah, so. As you can see, she just hit the fan, so this is where I'm gonna strike the goal. If you hit the guy, the goalkeeper by the sides with a charge shot, usually it's gonna hit the fan and get inside the goal for you to get an easy free goal. But yeah, just keep charging the shots and keep killing them. This doesn't count toward the 500 knockouts, you need to do that by punching, that's why you want to have a strong character. But you can do the knockouts on the campaign as well. You can do most troopers on the campaign except for interception. And I think the 100 wins. So the, the first, the 25, the 50, and the 100 wins. So this is basically what you're going to be doing for 10 hours. Uh, usually you can do like 10 wins per hour in average. And since you need 100 wins, you're going to play this for around 10 hours. Campaign is not too bad, but it's kind of annoying. The hard mode difficulty enemy, they are really aggressive. You can't really use this strategy against them. Um, because the, the map is not going to be as flat and whatever. But just for grinding the 100 online wins, this is very easy, very reliable uh, strategy to use. Uh, the shield might just ruin your strategy on the... Like if they have a shield on the other side because they might just place it near the goal. 
if that happens, just throw the ball away wherever you can and just destroy the shield and then pick it up again and then for your goal. But yeah, good luck grinding your, your 100 wins and secure this game before the shutdown comes in.